Hello and welcome to the Hooniverse and to a brand new video. Now on a distant world neighbouring the planet Klom, which is the home to this handsome chap, is the planet Raxacorico Fallopatorius, a world where family is everything, and for some crime pays its price. Raxacorico Fallopatorians were a mostly peaceful race, despite their more ferocious appearance with their large builds, bulging black eyes and beastly claws. They made their home world a paradise for peace. However, they despised criminal members of their species and punished them without mercy. These creatures made of calcium have a cruel streak, with particular families causing plenty of trouble. This is the history of the Slovene family and their life of crime and corruption throughout the cosmos. Now, sometime before the 21st century, the criminal Slovene family bribed their way into power on Raxacorico Fallopatorius. Their rule crashed the planet's economy, and eventually, the population rose up against them. The Lord Predator of the Grand Council had the Slovene exposed, shamed, and arrested. The entire family was tried and found guilty, with no chance of appeal, and given a horrific death sentence. Now, many of the Slovene fled justice, but the family continued to be hunted down by the Blavarine family, the Judoon, and even the Wrath warriors pursued the Slovene family on behalf of the Grand Council. The Slovene family were branded as criminals and began crafting evil, illegal schemes across the galaxy. Now, to chart this family's history, we're going to place the events in the most chronological order we can. So, starting with 102 AD, where they were part of the alliance of the Doctor's enemies who trapped him in the Pandorica prison under Stonehenge. This was an attempt to save the universe from the plans of the Silencer's Kavarian movement. These events led to the universe ending, but fortunately, the 11th Doctor put it all back together again. Now, at some stage in the 20th century on Raxacorico Fallopatorius, in a Slovene family tradition, Blonfell Foch Passanir de Slovene hatched from her egg buried deep underground in a cave, alone and with no food or light, and had to burrow her own way out to survive. She would at the age of 13 take part in her first hunt, a big ritual for the family, and completed it successfully. She knew that if she refused to join her family's criminal activities, she would undergo unpleasant ritual execution. So, Fast forward to 2006, the Pasimir de Slovenes made their way to Earth. The Slovene proceeded to kill many political figures in England, assuming their identities by wearing their skin as suits. These lumbering beasts used compression field technology to fit inside these suits, and that's the collars on their necks. This came with an unfortunate gas exchange. Now, having assumed these identities, they sent out a signal advertising Earth as radiated slabs, perfect for fueling spaceships. Now, just before humanity caught onto the signal, they staged a spaceship crash. The Slovene mangled a pig from Earth, putting it in the pilot's seat and setting the perfect crash, smashing into Big Ben and landing in the River Thames. Now, the pig pilot would be investigated by Unit, the Ninth Doctor, and Toshiko Sato of Torchwood Free. Now the Slovene, with the world going crazy over the thought of alien life, then infiltrated 10 Downing Street and murdered the Prime Minister, allowing Dracrasa Fell Foch Pasimir de Slovene in the skin suit of Joseph Green to take control of the UK. Now Blon took the form of Margaret Blaine and proceeded to hunt Harriet Jones, MP for Flydell North, and Rose Tyler, after killing the junior secretary of the Ministry of Defence. Now the Ninth Doctor battled the Slovene alongside Harriet and Rose, plus saving Jackie Tyler and Mickey Smith with the use of the Slovene's weakness. Vinegar. The vinegar causes a reaction with the calcium-based creatures, which leads to a rather explosive result. So, the Doctor, locked in a secure room inside 10 Downing Street, contacted Mickey Smith who launched the missile UGM-84A at Downing Street. Now, before the Slovene could gain access to nuclear weapons after lying to the UN and to the world, the resulting explosion killed the Pasimir de Slovene, while the Doctor, Rose and Harriet rode out the explosion. The alien invasion would be put down as a hoax to many, with some believers in the truth, including Henry Van Staten, who stored a Slovene arm in his private vaults. 
The Pasimir de Slovene that were killed appeared in the Death Realm when the Tenth Doctor was on a mission to save Martha Jones from the Polymaths. Now, as Britain looked to its new golden age with Harriet Jones as Prime Minister, Blonde found herself in a skip on the Isle of Dogs, after being the only family member who teleported out of the blast. Now, arriving in Cardiff, where she managed to get herself elected Lord Mayor of Cardiff, she held a position of power once more as she attempted to escape from Earth. Now, her mayoral predecessor, Barry Jackson, had actually killed the former mayor and blamed it on the 2005 Orton invasion. Anyway, in an attempt to leave Earth, Balon inspected a crashed Illyrian spaceship and met Torchwood Free's Susie Costello. The two were joined together by bangles and targeted by missiles, leading them to team up to locate the pilot to save themselves. They succeeded and reached a stalemate. With Blonde being aware of Susie breaking Torchwood's rules, and Susie being aware of Blonde's identity, the two parted ways, saying nothing more about it. So secretly, Blonde planned to take advantage of the space-time rift located there, and advocated a plan for a proposed nuclear power plant called Blythe Droog. She wanted to cause an quote-unquote accident at Blythe Droog, this disaster, located so near the rift, would destroy Earth and provide her tribophysical waveform macrokinetic extrapolator with sufficient power to let her ride the surf into space to escape. She knew that failing this, anyone who arrested her would take the extrapolator for themselves, having considerable technology of their own, and being captivated by the extrapolator. The extrapolator itself was programmed to lock onto the nearest alien power source, open up the rift, and still allow her to escape. So, she killed anyone who questioned her plans. However, in a rare act of mercy, she spared the journalist Kathy Salt after hearing the young woman talk about her family, reminding Blonde of her own lost relatives at the hands of the Doctor. And soon after, the Ninth Doctor himself and his companions arrived to stop her. Jack Harkness confiscated the extrapolator and used it to refuel the TARDIS faster, while Blonde pleaded the Doctor for mercy. And when the extrapolator began opening the rift through the TARDIS, Blonde threatened Rose, demanded Jack to place the extrapolator at her feet, and as the extrapolator nearly pulled apart the TARDIS, the part of the TARDIS was forced open, and Blonde looked directly into its light. She was regressed backwards along her timeline to the form of an egg. The Doctor returned her to her home planet to be placed with another family to start again. She became Margaret Ag Chris Ferrer for Jingafine, and keeping her human skin suit, she began working for the Shadow Proclamation alongside the Jadoon. She met the Twelfth Doctor, Bill and Nardol, working with them a very much changed Raxacoroco Phalopatorian fighting weeping angels, and even destroying one with her claws. As one member of the Slovene family achieved redemption, others craved revenge. Gloon Fexfy's Charleva Slam Slovene joined forces with the Lutheran Day branch of the family and took over a building company called Coldfire Construction and placed transducers in school buildings around the earth to absorb the sun's energy destroying the Earth and avenging the Pasimir Day group. After doing so, they intended to purchase a fleet of ships to return to their home planet and destroy the Grand Council of Raxacorico Phalopatorius. Gloon killed a secretary at Coldfire Construction called Janine to provide a skin suit for his sister, Florm Rock's Fay Fenerel Slam Slovene. Sarah Jane Smith, a former travelling companion of the Doctor, would go on to investigate strange activity and was chased by Florm. This group of Slovene used equations by Sarah Jane Smith's adopted son, Luke, to correctly power the final stage of the machine at Park Vale School, after it had been malfunctioning, disguising themselves as teachers. However, this led to the sun effectively being switched off. Sarah Jane and the Attic Gang foiled the Slovene family's plan, but at a cost as all the Slovene present were killed by the machinery, except for Korst Gog Fek Lutvin de Slovene, the twelve-year-old child of Kist, who had been disguised as a student. 
the tiny Terra lost his family and began planning his revenge on Earth and Sarah Jane Smith. Now disguised as Nathan Goss, a child prodigy involved in the Ferros Institute's experiments with the telekinesis amplification device MITRE, he allied himself with Dax Fex Fies and Bloom Vunger Bart Slavine, and surprisingly, Sarah Jane's sentient supercomputer, Mr. Smith. Now, Mr. Smith was a Zylock and hijacked the Slavine's plan of kidnapping Luke and turned it against them, attempting to crash the moon into the Earth. Unfortunately, Sarah Jane and the Attic Gang and K9 worked alongside the Slavine and made Mr. Smith a force for good again. Now, the three Slavine family members involved then left Earth in peace. Now, at one stage in this timeline, the Slavine used mind controlling fezes to enslave planet Earth. However, they were defeated by the 11th Doctor. And then at some point in 2009, a member of the Slovene family took the body of Ambassador Ranus of the Galactic Alliance and attempted to steal K9 from Sarah Jane with some red headwear. Later, two more Slovene would attempt to crush the Earth into a giant diamond, but they were thwarted and captured by two Blavarine named Leaf and Tree. Now, at first they seemed like the peace-loving inhabitants of Raxacorico Phalopatorius, giving the gift of Rackweed to Sarah Jane. However, not long later, it turns out Rackweed had potent spores that could spread at an alarming rate. Before long, the planet was coated in Rackweed. A plant the Blavarine are addicted to eating, but also one that would make quite the profit on the galactic market. It turns out that these Blavarine are the descendants of Slovene and Blavarine parents, taking after the scheming Slovene, basing themselves in Antarctica and watching their plan commence. Now, Sarah Jane worked with her gang once again, discovering a high frequency sound would destroy the rackweed, and in turn, when the Blavarine entered the attic, the gang were forced to use the sound to destroy the rackweed in the Blavarine's stomachs. Now, on another occasion on Earth, Sarah Jane and Luke were handcuffed to a bomb set to detonate in seconds. As the Slovene tried to make his escape, the pair were rescued by K9, who rendered the bomb useless, with Rani and Clyde arriving to throw a bucket of vinegar over the Slovene, killing him. One Slovene was captured by the Crulius, an intergalactic collector who stored the Slovene in a data pod. The Crulius later used his digital bioconverter to upload the Slovene's biodata onto the internet. There, it was found by Mr. Smith, Rani and Clyde, who sent the Slovene back to his original place. Another Slovene was kept at the Dolof Starbase. When the Jadun caught the Crulius, all his captured aliens were set free. However, the Crulius had managed to take clone cell samples of his former captured creatures with him, which allowed him to grow perfect copies of them. Moving forward to 2010, and two Slovene took part in the army of alien slaves led by the Crulius to attack Sarah Jane's house. And when Clyde defeated several of the aliens, the Slovene regrouped with the army and the Crulius ordered them to retreat. Now, a few members of the Slovene family were present at the Zagat Zagu bar when the 10th Doctor on his farewell tour said goodbye to Captain Jack Harkness. Somewhere in time, the Slovene were also present on the planet Garusha Prime, with Sist Fay Flut Martiva von Slovene working with another Slovene under the guise of Penny. Now these Raxacorico Phalopatorians were ahead of those before them, with the ability to create skin suits without killing. Only a simple scan was needed to assume an identity, and of all the identities to choose from, Sist became the Ninth Doctor. The real Ninth Doctor, Rose and Captain Jack, soon arrived with Jack and the Doctor taken in for identity theft, while Rose was captured by Sist and another Raxacorico Phalopatorian family, the Jinglophine, who came looking for the Slovene. Now, Sist and Rose found themselves on the planet Clix, where the Jinglophine and other members of the Raxas Alliance, who were all species within the group of planets surrounding Raxacorico Phalopatorius, welcomed the Slovene dressed as the Doctor until Rose blew her cover, and with that, the hunt began. Broadcast around the planet, Sist and Rose were hunted by a variety of Raxacorico inside a weather-controlled dome. 
Acid rain was released inside the hunting dome, killing and scarring anything from Raxas' space. Sist was protected by Rose when the Ninth Doctor and Jack arrived, wearing their own Slovene costumes, made using the leftover tech found during their escape, which saw Penny the Slovene, her insides, scrambled as she was shot while within a skin suit, the compression field compromised with severe consequences. Now as this acid rain intensified, the Doctor, Rose, Jack and Sist made their way through the jungle until they reached the weather station, where it's discovered that Envoy Gledo caused the rain to be way more acidic, killing many and utilising a death squad in an attempt to destroy the Alliance. Now fortunately, Sist acted heroically and broadcasted this information to the people and had the envoy taken away by the Raxas authorities as the TARDIS team slipped away. Now back to the late 2010s, the clan Glef Klotch Slovene disguised themselves as a military tattoo in an attempt to steal hidden treasure from Edinburgh Castle. Their plans were ultimately thwarted by Lady Christina de Souza and Sam Bishop. And then we're going to fast forward to 2311, where the Slovene annexed the planet Tivoli, wiping out the Stenza occupation force that controlled it at the time. They were collectively arrested for this crime by the Jadun in 2426, ending their stewardship of Tivoli, which ultimately fell under the control of the Kral instead. Now after these many foiled attempts at conquest and crime, their fortunes started to dwindle. They were ultimately put out of business by the Blavarine family, who were cheaper and more effective, and it all turned to a life of crime too. So, by the year 2501, Ektoska and Dram Slovene discovered the activities going on in Justica, a prison world, and attempted to take over the operations. They were captured, but later escaped with the help of the Ninth Doctor and Rhodes. The Blavarine posed as prison guards and officials, however were horrifically beaten to death during a prison riot. The Slovene then stole the surviving warp hole technology from the Blavarine, with Ektoska even hiding inside a Blavarine skin suit. The Slovene had everything they needed to rebuild their fortune. At some point after this, the Slovene took over the holiday resort on the pleasure planet MXQ-1, originally run by the Bluestone Brothers. Now while they could have simply continued to benefit from the resort's existing reputation, the Slovene attempted to make a greater profit by introducing an addictive new foodstuff, literally made from the bodies of the resort's former staff. Now, the Tenth Doctor and Rose were able to expose this crime to the authorities on Raxacoraco Fallopatorius, and the Slovene were arrested by their cousins, the Hazratine. Now, at this point on Raxacoraco Fallopatorius, the death penalty had actually been abolished, and the captured Slovene were to be imprisoned rather than executed. Now at some point in time in the far future, a war broke out between humanity and alien forces due to the collapse of treaties called the Platonic War, a conflict that gave the Slovene an immense hatred for humanity. By the 347th century, the Slovene family was still exiled from Raxacoraco Fallopatorius, and although they expected a reprisal in the coming 1000 years, they were also evolved deeply in the Platonic War being one of the forces defeated by the humans. As a form of revenge, they travelled back to an early point in human history, when Greece was facing famine. They gave them food in exchange for asking for champions to fight for them. The Slovene were actually running a temporal tourist tour, with aliens coming to see the sites of future monuments, and with the human fighters being killed for their entertainment. Their eventual plan was for the humans to become too dependent on them, never develop technology and never develop an advanced civilization. The temp doctor and a student from the 21st century called June tried to stop them peacefully, but instead the native Greeks fought back, destroying their time travel technology and throwing the whole organization into chaos. Mamps, Cosmo and Lieb Slovene escaped, but were trapped in the past. Many thousands of years later, the Slovene had calcified turning to stone in Athens, and as soon as they were revealed from behind a stone wall, they pounced at the Tenth Doctor and June before the space authorities arrived and took them away. Now, the Ninth Doctor and Captain Jack saw a Slovene who visited the Fluron Temporal Bazaar to purchase weaponry left over from aborted timelines in the last Great Time War, 
and during the Assassin Doom's mission to escape death, she also encountered a bunch of Slovene family members. Meanwhile, abandoned without the Fifth Doctor, Tegan, Nyssa and Ma also encountered Slovene on a human hunt on Kalana, a world the Slovene family wanted to sell. Now fortunately, Tegan fooled the Slovene into retreating from their hunt and planet destroying scheme, using their own suit tech against them. And at some point, the 14th Doctor saw two Raxacorico Falafatorians visiting the Dalek Dome of displays of important moments in Dalek history. And at one stage, on the family's travels throughout the universe, one family member was captured by the Grask, however it was freed by the 10th Doctor. And moving forward now into the distant future, Raxacorico Falafatorians were present during the Siege of Trenzalor. Indeed, the 11th Doctor encountered Slovene ships amongst those which initially assembled above the planet. Now, they either retreated or died in the fighting, which took place after the Daleks broke through the Papal Mainframe's force field and plunged the planet Trenzalor into war. Now, the Rex Corico Falapatorians have actually been involved in other timelines too. For example, in a universe where the Cybermen betrayed the Borg and acquired their technology, the Metal Men conquered Raxacorico Falapatorius and converted the entire population into Cybermen. Fortunately, the 11th Doctor prevented this future from coming into reality. Then, in a timeline created by a continuity bomb, where the 10th Doctor embraced the title of Time Lord Victorious, not saving Wilf from his death, and instead he became a mad tyrant who ruled over time and space. Until, in a twist of fate, a five-fingered Raxacorico Phalopatorian shot him dead, using a weapon with regeneration inhibitors. All these timelines, of course, came to an end, and reverted back to the original. So, the Slovene, Blamarine, Jinglophene, and all families in between. Some good, some bad, and some ugly. A species with the external appearance of evil, but the potential to be a force for good. However, it's the beings with the morals of rotten rackweed that give the planet a bad name. They can shoot poison darts, spew toxic gas, and have claws capable of crushing a weeping angel. The Slovene are sly and cunning, more formidable than their farts would make you believe. And there's definitely more to them than meets the eye. That is the history of the Slovene and other Raxacorico Falopatorians. Now many have asked for these monsters to make a return, and to that I'd say, have a proper read of Titan comics, big finish audios, novels and spin-off shows, as they never really went away. Thank you very much for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed this video and hearing me say Raxacorico Falopatorius at least two dozen times. It's definitely an upgrade compared to my original video from about seven years ago, and I can't wait for you to see what I've got lined up next. If you enjoyed the video, please shoot it a like, comment below your favourite Slovene story or memory of the farting foes, and of course subscribe to see more wonderful videos. The history of Who continues, and if you need to catch up, I've recently covered the history of the Cybermen, so be sure to check it out. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.